Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, it has been a while since I have touched on the player, or excuse me, the legend of I Sit. And so I'm going to just tell that story in case you didn't see the original upload. I think we've actually had more than one upload with I Sit. You should check out the YouTube channel, and we'll probably have those things linked in the description if this hits YouTube, if you uh, if you want to see it, because it's a legendary player. And I stumbled upon I Sit because one time in AOE2.net chat room, which is the website where you can use to look at rating, I saw a player say, attacking is scary, I only defend XD. That was all he said. And I saw it, and naturally I clicked his username, I saw his games tend to go on for a very long time, and I then casted him and uploaded him to YouTube, and it was incredible. So here in the red, we have I Sit. He does like to play defensive strategies. He's not a fan of trying to end the game quickly. And then here in the blue, we have John Mel, and I don't really know John Mel's story, but I can tell you that I Sit is still technically a low elo legend, but this is at 940, 950 elo, so these guys are pretty darn close to getting out of low evil legend territory. Um, this here is migration, and migration is I sit's favorite map. His second favorite map is probably arena, where he will also sit. But migration, he played before, and what he likes to do, he likes to pick Spanish, and he likes to give up the center. So he lets the enemy take the center, and then he just surrounds this whole island and then he sits. Imagine that. Um, but yeah, on migration, if you don't know how migration works. Woo! Is that a Loey the Legend lumber camp or what? Um, you do not have any boars. So you have sheep and you have deer and you have berries. And then you have the other resources, but no real uh, hunt beyond just the deer. And then typically you'll see players dock. You'll want to add fishing ships to make up for the food you lose by not having boars. And then transport. And then after you transport, you go to the island. And it's a very snowy island. So shout out to all the people in the cold countries out there around the world right now. I know uh, I'm going to be back in the cold around Christmas time for a week. Don't you worry. There should be a lot of YouTube uploads scheduled. So when I'm not streaming, you guys will have some cool stuff. Including a fat slob upload. That's right. Every Christmas I hit you with fat slob. I try and do more than that. But fat slob is special. So you don't want to... You don't want to use fat slob too frequently. It's also incredibly fitting because I will be a fat slob because my mother's cooking is amazing. You got a Canadian in the chat. All right. It's probably freaking cold up there, huh? Well, I sit went for uh, one lumber camp for two wood piles. That's what this is here. Uh, higher levels, you'll see people place the wood right up against or, or the lumber camp right up against the wood for more immediate efficiency. But he thinks he's going to be saving wood long term. Okay. Uh, Smallhead says, I'm from Sweden, where the cold comes from, and also where Fat Slob comes from, actually. And where I Sit comes from. What are you guys doing in Sweden that produces all these unique players? <laughs> Two of the most unique players I've ever brought to the channel are from Sweden. Fat Slob and I Sit. And the theme is, they can spend all day on their computer. They don't care how long the game goes. <laughs> Probably because it's so cold. <laughs> Sweden, where very long strategies come to fruition. All right. Sweden, the inventor... Uh, hmm, no. Sweden, the home of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Fat Slob, and I Sit. Not sure what else Sweden is really known for, but... All right. Big difference in the gameplay here between the gameplay from our 700 ELO players. Their TC idle time is looking pretty good. 30 seconds and one minute, respectively. Um, you do have the dock. You do have fishing ships. So these guys definitely know what they're talking about. You guys want to know why I knew uh, I sit was back playing? I'll tell you why. Uh, because there's no watch list anymore. Before the definitive edition, I was able to put players on my watch list. And if they played or got online, I would get a notification. That was a really cool feature of Voobly. Uh, we don't have that on DE. And so I just have to remember to look at their profiles. But last week, or no, it was Friday, we were doing community games and the servers went down, if you remember. And so no one could play online. And then later that afternoon, I went to awe2.net 
and I sit in the same chat room, said, I miss playing, why won't it work? And I was like, oh, he's trying to play some games. And guys, migration isn't always in the map pool. So I sit, as of a week and a half ago, was 850 ELO. I sit, currently sits at 950 ELO because of this migration strategy. So <laughs> I guess at higher ELOs, you have players who like the closed maps like Hideout and uh, Arena and things like that. Well, it's the same thing at lower ELO. So a much better start from blue, which is kind of what you would expect <clears throat> because... I sit doesn't necessarily uh, have success due to his early strategies. It more so due to the late game. Hmm. Long dark winters. I actually have a question and excuse my ignorance. But what time is it getting dark in like Finland and Sweden and whatnot around now? Like what what time local time does it get dark for you guys? Uh, and I I ask this because. Uh, I was watching Valesa play earlier, and Valesa's Finnish. And I know that Finland and Sweden, I think they border each other, right? And it was maybe 3 p.m. local time for him. That he was saying that it started to get dark. And that would be pretty brutal if it's also cold. So you guys are saying 14.30. So like 2.30 in the afternoon, it starts to get dark? Okay, so what time does it get light then for you guys? Probably a little earlier in the morning? That's pretty crazy. Okay. Stachio says, so T90, if I encounter, I sit on the ladder on this map. How should I go and encounter it? Honestly, save that thought for a little bit later on. But the main thing is, go feudal age and go fire galleys. That's the strat of migration, is go feudal and add fire galleys. Blue's adding one, but going double or triple dock fire galleys, you take out their fish and you control the water. And then that's how you beat anyone on migration, truthfully. Okay, here there's complete darkness for months. Okay. Scandinavian countries have only one hour of daylight now. Yeah, I just wanted to know kind of how much light was exists at this time for Scandinavian countries. Because I know it's different all around the world, right? For me, it gets dark around 5, 5.30 in the afternoon or evening. Oh, wow. Blue is scouting with a fishing ship. That's really smart. Assuming he sends a fire galley over here. But yeah, I mean, it just, even getting dark at five for me is pretty brutal. So what I sit did is he made a ton of fishing ships, um, which is a smart move on this map. If you're not going to get punished by it, very smart move. And he's going to open up with a galley here. Now, I probably should uh, mention this because people here on the stream heard this, okay? Um, there was a game last week which was two hours and 42 minutes with I sit. And the two hour and 42 minute game resulted in him fully surrounding the opponent with cannon galleons. He had all five relics in a corner monastery. And he quite literally just sat there and waited for the guy to take all the middle resources and be stuck. He had 30,000 relic gold that game. But the, the thing I need to bring up is he actually did make some galleys. So I think some players have been punishing him with water pressure. And so he did make Feudal Age and Castle Age galleys. He's not fully sitting back. Okay. Closer to the equator, the less difference in sunrise sunset times throughout the year. I know, I was just curious some more specifics. This is why fire galleys dominate until galley numbers mass. And wow, I sit, loses the transport. But he does make it here with his villagers. He knew to get fletching, which benefits the galleys, but 1v1, the fire galley should usually win. Oh, micro? Oh, more like I micro. Let's go. Bam! Shoot it. Oh, God. Okay. I was in Alaska years ago during the summer, and the sun never set. Yeah, so my girlfriend actually lived in Alaska uh, for nine months, so she got to experience it when it was, like, light for 18 hours a day and dark for 18 hours a day. I think either of those would completely wreck me. <laughs> um, but the darkness for 18 hours would, would just be so brutal for me. I mean, granted, I don't go outside as much as I probably should because I'm on my computer all the time, so it might not be an issue. <laughs> we never get light in the parents' basements where most of us live. <laughs> oh, God. 
Coffee 90. Never change, my friend. Never change. So yeah, this has been a very low elo approach to migration. I sit with the fishing ships. That's cool. But he didn't really commit to many galleys. At the same time, neither did Blue. I mean, Blue could have had... I guess he's only had one dock, but even with one dock, he could have had more fire galleys. And he could have completely mopped up Isid off of water. Downside for Isid is he's made fishing ships, but he almost has too many of them right now. Isid is not on the way to Castle Age, so this is this is a little rough right now. No farming eco either. Really needs to find more fish. He, he's, he's overfishing. I like how... So what he did was he clicked all of his ships here. And this uh, this galley wants to be a fishing ship. There we go. Okay. Blue sells some wood on the way to Castle Age. So as always with most I sit games, the guy falls behind. Right? He's just not a super capable player with the normal aspects of the game. It's all about dragging it on and knowing his win conditions late. Uh, Lil Flurry, I don't think Tower Rushing is a good strat here because it's so easy for them to just go to another resource. There's no way you could deny every resource is in the middle with a tower. So typically it's water control. Uh, knights, though, sending some mobile units uh, onto the land in the middle is always really good. And then this is good, too. We have a TC. And Blue's Goth, so Blue probably wants to go infantry. And we see a TC here. I don't love this, but I don't hate it. The problem with adding town centers on this island is that... Oh my... Holy crap. Okay, so he's going to go four TCs. One of which is in the center. So yeah, that I disagree with. Because eventually, you're going to have all your villagers stuck here. And if you lose water control... Oh god. I can already see how this is going. <laughs> it's one thing to four TC boom. But you want your villagers to be where most of the land is. Alright. Blue wants to go for long swords, but maybe heard me say something about knights. Is now adding a stable. And then I sit scouted that a second ago and is gonna run over here. Most likely I sit will add a town center. But guys, the key to I sit strategy currently with migration from what I've seen is he always tries to get the relics really early off that island. Because he wants to sit back, and he wants to wait until he's fully surrounded the enemy. And relics is the way to have infinite gold. So I'm curious on if he's going to add the monastery, or if it was just that one game that I saw. Alright. Thomas, if you're using uh, the Facebook app to watch the stream, I'd suggest using the Facebook gaming app, or... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening here? Yeah, just use the opposite of whatever you're using if you're having any issues. That and the three dots and going to the settings wheel if you have it would be my suggestion for the quality because I've, I've had people say that just switching to the other app has made it easier for them. You've got two options. Oh, God. This could be so bad for I sit. He's going to drop a TC, but there's a knight here now. Does 950 ELO player know to quick wall? Probably not. I feel like Blue should just dominate this game from here. He's still not really going for water control. And, and yes, he's adding a lot of villagers at home. But I feel like his eco is going to be pretty good. Oh, wait a second. I sit has split. I sit has split and quick wall. Um, that answers your questions on if 950 ELO players can quick wall. That's about as good as it gets. Okay. This villager dead so that's a problem but i sit does have 17 galleys right now that means he'll always be able to transport more villagers over here because he has water control and blue has kind of given up on water control 17 galleys that could take out fishing ships 17 galleys that could eventually just stop all these villagers from relocating now, what you can do in Blue's position, if that's ever a worry for you, is you drop a castle on the shoreline, like right here. Not too close to the shore, but just enough where it'll range any ships, and then you can add docks, and then you can just fight back on water. My guess is, though, Blue wants to castle the middle because it kind of makes sense. 
You've killed the Vils. You don't want him to ever have any foothold here. I sit. Just researched gill nets a second ago for more efficient fishing, which is cool to see. Um, and you've got galleys with full upgrades, except... Oh, no. He doesn't have ballistics. All right. Good afternoon, T90. How's the live education going today? Uh, I don't know if we've really educated the people, but we have entertained the people today, so pretty good. Education's overrated. Entertainment is where it's at. I'd like to think this series is a little bit of both. 55 eco. You might be thinking, how does how does blue with all these TCs not have as many villagers or as many eco units as red? Oh god, blue, no. Wait, does that go up? If that goes up, it's not bad. It, it does exactly what I had said a few moments ago, right? It allows you to dock beneath it. Feels like it needs to be placed further back, though. He's just going to sacrifice his knights as a distraction. And just low the legends thing. Okay. Shoot, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. It's just because um, Isid has so many fishing ships. He is adding a second TC now. Interesting. Let's look at the food brought in here. As the castle goes up, you can see fishing ships. Strong, but farming also good for blue. I sit with plenty of wood and gold, though. He's actually had the better economy here. So you've got to think that will change if blue continues to create vills. The priority for blue should be, maybe not right now, but at some point, controlling water and not allowing I sit to get to the mainland. That's the key. I think, personally, going Imperial Age, dropping docks, and then just going all Navy is the way, but not at this elo, baby. Not at this elo. Unless your name is I Sit, that might be the only way that he feels comfortable going to the mainland. But wait a second. Transport ships. This is attempt number two to get some control here on the land. Look at Blue. He's waiting here. Thinks this would be a good spot. He's making an outpost. He's made houses. Got a castle here. Oh, look at this approach from Blue. He's definitely got a solid grasp on how to play this map. You cannot dispute that. Castle on the shoreline. Even Town Watch for Vision. Not bad from Blue. Unfortunately, though, he's pulled his knights away. This actually would have been perfect. All right. I sit. More like I sneak. Look, he's even scouting here, guys. He's scouting with the ships. And adding more fishing ships right now. At this point, you probably want to have fish traps. And guys, remember what I mentioned about the relics? Here he comes with a monk in that transport. Three nights ago, when I stumbled upon that one game with I Sit, I tried to tiredly explain to my girlfriend about why I Sit is awesome, and she did not understand it. <laughs> I was like, you know what relics are, right? She's like, I think I know what relics are. Like, yeah, it's the things you there's only five of them, and if you get them, you get a trickle of gold. And she's like, okay. Like, listen, there's this guy. He just makes cannon galleons, which no one makes. And she's like, what do cannon galleons do again? And I was like, ugh. And she she really was like, all right, maybe we should just go to bed. I tried, guys. I got so excited about it. She does support me, though. She just can't get as excited about it as I am. <laughs> as he goes long distance for the monk. Wait, wait, I thought those were Vils. Okay, so this is a transport with a monk. This is a transport with a monk. So he says, screw the island. As we now have another castle for blue. Blue really needs to think about going imp. But blue's got to be thinking I'm dominating this game right now. This is over. Easy game, easy life. Um, but Bachara, I have no clue if I sit knows that I watch his games. He never commented or said anything to me or added me or anything. So usually if I cast somebody and they realize I've casted them, there's a comment on the YouTube video or I get uh, an email or something. So I have not heard anything from I sit. Who has 41 fishing ships, but it's truthfully showing you guys the way of fishing. And controlling water as well, which is important on this map. This is your special reminder that after chemistry, you can make cannon galleons. And Spanish cannon galleons fire faster. And also, after that, you can go for elite cannon galleon, which means they fire even faster. 
I sit as two relics on the way back, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even three. No, 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 he doesn't. There's one, two, and three. It's going to be tough to get those as blue is just going to castle everywhere. So what blue is missing right now is he's just missing docks, right? But blue might be thinking, okay, this is brilliant, right? Think of how migration should work. What do I always say with my basic description? You start off on an island, and the goal is to control the mainland afterwards. That's essentially how I introduced the map. But I sit realizes that that's going to lure Blue into a false sense of security, and that he can go with Navy and clear up a lot of what Blue has, as well as kind of trap Blue in here with a lot of his uh, units. Okay. Here comes a monk out here to get this relic. I sit hoping to be sneaky, hoping to snag it. If he gets that, it will be three, as we see anarchy for re for blue. So blue wants to make infantry. Um, Zablu, that's incorrect. Okay, so someone said, what do you do? Uh, sorry, what was it again? Oh, what happens to the relic if a transport ship is sunk? No, no, that's not true. It does not disappear. If you have a relic inside, or with a monk inside of a transport, it goes to the nearest piece of land if the transport goes down. Oh my god, Blue spotted it! Blue spotted it! He spotted it, but he lost track of the monk. And there goes the monk. Blue looking for it, but probably doesn't really understand exactly what's happening right now. He sees fishing ships. He thinks everything's fine. All he sees is random fishing ships. He's got four castles. He's got so he can spam infantry. He got anarchy so he can spam the infantry from the barracks. And he's fine. Now, how many vills does Blue have here? 69. Oof, that's not so nice. That, that could be a problem. Maybe one of the biggest mistakes Blue has made. But he could always transport them over, you know? He just has to think about that. Hey, there's relic number three for Ice Sit. Who at this point is running out of wood. He's almost completely out of resources here. That said, he does have plenty of wood and plenty of gold. And him not investing into farms is pretty crazy. How much food did he bring in? Okay, not as much as blue at this point, but it's only been fishing ships. Hmm. Thomas says, so pro tip, Facebook gaming app does not support select video quality, but regular Facebook app on the other hand does. Yeah, so Thomas, I think you're on Android. I think currently that's the way it is on Android. I've heard differing uh, thoughts on like different phones. But yeah, I'm glad that that solved your problem. It's nice that you've got, it kind of works differently on each app as well. So it's, it's nice that it allows options. All right, so no cannon galleons yet. But you can instantly make cannon galleons after chemistry. So now I sit will be able to make them. Hmm. I think the biggest issue with, with like Monday? with a streaming service is that everyone watches in different ways with different internet qualities and different preferences and like <clears throat> like for me, some of the things that you guys will bring up are not issues I've encountered is now we have farms. Not bad. And now we have elite cannon galleon. And now he's completely out of wood here. So he needs to get wood somewhere. And that's not going to be an easy task. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Guys, look at the minimap! Look at it! Blue has dominated this game! He's got all the island. He's collected all of his resources. He's got 106 vills. He's got with upgrades. He's got barracks. I said has quite literally sat in the corner. And yet we know that I sit has a plan, a plan that has worked before and a plan that will probably work again. And this is where blue starts to freak out. Okay. This is where blue starts to freak out because he didn't really worry before because he knew that galleons couldn't take out his castles. Now he's like, Oh God, what do I do against this? And truthfully, because red has been so patient, it's very difficult to know. You could think, I have all the resources in the middle, so we don't have to worry and just spam infantry. 
I think you should probably make docks, though, and go fast fire ships. I, I think that has to be a priority for you. Lu also is going to have to transport over. And this gets tricky if you don't really understand how docks work, because you need to get careening to be able to put more than five units in each transport, and that's just very, very difficult to do. And now I sit, is just going to chop this wood here. And he's going to be like, what can you do about it, Blue? This is my wood now. And so, so Blue, again, a moment of panic, starts to make some stuff, and is going to make some mistakes now. You're going to see Hussars, for whatever reason. Some Knights. And I guess for now, he's just going to settle to just treb down that TC. Champion upgrade is on the way, though, for Blue. Who, again, needs to now worry about this. If you've ever used a transport ship, it's so annoying. It's honestly better to just make more, but transporting units back and forth while also having to attack is tough. Okay. <laughs> no, Alejandro, I'm 100% I'm with you, dude. I'm 100% with you. I agree that a company as big as Facebook should have as, as much infrastructure to test on every device and get things working. And I, I think improvements will come. You could also make an argument that a company as big as Amazon should give a shit about their content creators on Twitch. You could also make an argument that a company as big as YouTube should realize that removing a dislike button is ridiculous. We could go down the list of how big company and big service continues to make mistakes. Uh, but that's not the point of our conversation here. We're going to continue. As I sit, has the same population as Blue. He's about to lose villagers. I sit did not research supremacy. FYI. So his villagers are not all that tanky, which they could be with Spanish. And Blue does a great raid here. He kills off most of Isit's economy, actually. Amazon owns Twitch. Yeah, man. They ha they've owned Twitch for like four or five years. Fishing ships are going down. There's some villagers going this way. Blue at 120 pop. I sit at 100, but I sit only has 60 eco and three relics. So he will probably need to transport more villagers to have any chance here. I think blue probably it feels good again. Probably hates transporting back and forth, but probably feels good again. And is probably letting out some type of a sigh of relief. All right. So you have chemistry in now for blue. Is he going to go cannon galleons? So cannon galleons have 12 range and with siege engineers, it's 13 range. But cannon, uh, sorry, did I say cannon galleons? I meant to say bombard cannons. Bombard cannons have that range, but cannon galleons fire faster with Spanish, and they have 15 range. So really, the only thing that you can do against this is use the resources from the middle to then dock and make navy. That's your play. And I sit is in the north. I sit is in the north. He snuck a TC. I sit sounds like an Apple product. <laughs> You know, like, and I'm, I stole that idea from someone in YouTube comments, but it's like, iPhone, iPad, I sit, I sneak. As he's sneaking another TC. And these are actually on golds too, which is crucial. Uh, what is the most important resource for him right now? He doesn't have anything on wood. But he's going to buy wood and watch. He'll probably lumber camp and lumber camp would be my guess. Um, or he's just going to, never mind, he's going to make more navy. These villagers get slaughtered. And this is where I sit. Starts to just roam around all the map. Remember Blue. He doesn't have any water control. And ship right now coming in for I sit. Which will make his ships cheaper. But it's a very good technology if you're going to be committing towards Navy. Now this is 950 ELO. I sit is an 850 elo player but when migration is in the pool the strategy catches people off guard and at one point blue saw only blue and a little bit of red in the south and now he's got to worry let's we'll start to see some red over here let's we'll start to see some red over here and he's losing his buildings and now it's only 65 eco for blue so it's 45 eco for i sit Blue doesn't have any relics. I would see I sit, and I sit's coming in with the monks right now. He's got a master plan here. Now again, if you face up against I sit, not that I want to ruin this guy's fun, but if you ever face up against him, nine hundred elo players, 
Just go all in fire galleys and feudal age and do not allow him to expand. Never give up the water against I sit. Taking land is good, but you never want to give up the water against Spanish. Against I sit. Here we go. Solo, I looked through a lot of his games recently. I, I, I He doesn't throw games intentionally. He just like, if you think, if you watch this game, if Blue would have made more than one fire galley in feudal, I sit would have had some pretty big problems, right? Unfortunately, it just never happens. Okay, so now Blue is thinking, let's dock. But he can't get the dock up there because he didn't know Red had ships there. Blue's going to drop a TC in the center. We kind of called it, right? When Blue added his TCs on this island, we said he might end up stuck here with a lot of those vills. But he still can, can expand vills towards the middle here. And this is ridiculous. Blue needs docks, and he needs to go fires. And... Whoa, he just deleted Vils? What? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> oh my god, he selected all idle Vils because he had Vils here, guys. And he was like, well, I can't do anything with these Vils. So he used the select all idle hotkey. And that ended up deleting a bunch of Vils in the middle of the map. Let me actually go back and look at that. That's the only explanation. Okay, so here he has Vils, and he says, hmm, well, clicking them would take a little bit of time. So let's just delete all idols. Only he had idols here. Did he have idols anywhere else? Oh, God. He had idols over here as well. No. <laughs> no. Rip to the Vils. Oh, God. There were Vils here as well. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, <laughs> talk about shooting yourself in the foot. And, oh, sorry. I'm going fast speed now. And the sad thing is, he probably didn't even know that he lost the Vils in the mainland. This is kind of funny. The Cannon Galleons are attacking the farm, and she just kept reseeding the farm because she had the wood for it. Oh, man. Blue is dead. Blue is completely dead. I mean, he can make more Vils here, and he can... Try his best to get a dock up. Truthfully, he's not completely dead because he does have wood. And if he can get wood, then he can dock. I sit isn't controlling everything yet. But I sit is is going to get towards that. And I sit, who sits at home with the relics, could always get relic number five, as this relic is pretty exposed right now. It's amazing how this game shifted. It hasn't even hit the hour mark. This game shifted from blue having full control to having no control, just like that. It's insane what this strategy does. People get really confused on water maps, and then they, they don't know what to do. I had people in my chat here saying that they... Auto farm is freaking hilarious. I had people in my chat saying that they, um, they don't play water maps. They ban water maps, or they resign if there's a water map, right? So there's that aspect where people who play it out don't really understand it too well. And then if you have this type of a strategy, it can overwhelm the majority of players. Here comes two villagers. Uh, T90, can we still support on Twitch? You can, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, so Twitch didn't remove my partnership, which is what they're supposed to do. Because I guess they don't really even understand it's happened, despite my constant communication with them and attempt to communicate with them. So yeah, you can. Um, it's more motivating and better to do it here because I get 100% of the revenue uh, as opposed to like Twitch takes a cut and other platforms take a cut, right? But uh, it's completely up to you, of course. There's also Patreon and, you know, you can watch an ad in a YouTube video. There's lots of different ways to support. And now this is where I sit starts to slowly encroach in. He has more villagers. He's going to drop a castle. He's going to expand. or I don't know if expands the word, but he's going to add a TC. The thing I've noticed with I sit though, is he doesn't usually make any military beyond Bombard Cannons. He just likes to hit you from distance and let you sink deeper and deeper into your chair and deeper and deeper into helplessness. Yeah, primes still work, right? I mean, primes are free, right? So it definitely goes a long way. But uh, it's up to you guys, of course. I'm just happy to have you guys here and watching. <laughs> Why it says, feels like I'm watching the fall of India to the British trading company. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Blue notices this. Blue isn't happy about this. 
And Blue will not be able to deny the castle. If something tells me I sit will just bring cannon galleons over here to deal with this. Actually, he has murder holes and he has bracer. So he will be able to kill these husk girls. Here comes Blue, though. Blue unhappy about how this game has gone and has made a bunch of husk girls and has the bomber cannon. Trevor says, I just have a free prime. I was only watching you because I found you on YouTube and you were on Twitch. Got it. Well, thanks for showing up here, man. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter hugely to me at the end of the day. But from not even the financial side, but the motivational side, when you're streaming on a platform, it's fun to, to try and work your way up with certain goals and such, right? The sub count's been really awesome here. The viewership on a brand new platform has also been really solid so far. So Blue's pop has gone up, and this is the reaction a lot of players have against Isit. They don't want to accept that this could possibly happen to them. And so here comes Blue, and to Blue's credit, he takes out the TC. He'll take out the Vils, and he could even take out this TC. This is the problem with Isit, because he doesn't attack. Like, with these resources, he can go hand cannons. Wait a second, what just happened to his relics? Oh my god, I think he tried to eject... Here, I bet you... Hold on. Well, you know what? It's not even worth it. I can explain what happened. So if you have relics inside your monastery and you have a monk inside your monastery and you press the eject button, it'll eject your monk and it will also eject... Wait, what? Oh, he's making a new monastery! It's safer, guys. It's safer. It was intentional. Just in case Blue ever comes back on water, I sit is going to make sure... That blue will not get those relics. Okay, and here I thought it was a mistake, but it was all part of the plan. All five relics, which you worked so hard for, are going to come right down here to the safest spot on the map. I love it. So perfect, man. Because that's that's kind of his win condition if this game goes on forever. And I'm, I'm probably not going to upload this one, so I'll tell the story again. Three or four days ago... There was a game that went on for two hours and 42 minutes to the point where the person in the middle of the map ran out of resources, but Isit could never kill his buildings. So Isit would transport in bombard cannons, hit the barracks, enemy would send in hussars, and he would run back with his bombard cannons into a transport ship. I, I don't know how long this game goes. <laughs> so, just saying, we could see the exact same thing here. Um... Yeah, I'm sure at one point someone sniped his monastery and he ended up losing the game. And that's why he uh, decided to do this. But he lives in Sweden in the middle of winter. He's got all day. <laughs> he doesn't have to go anywhere or do anything. It's freaking cold. It's cold and dark, what we learned earlier anyways. It is funny, though, how he never gets supremacy. He must not know about supremacy. His villagers would be so much stronger with that. Hmm. Still have a TC over here. Still forgot about the relics. He's now buying wood, which will increase the price of that. It will be pretty devastating if he doesn't remember to put the relics inside the monastery. Right now he has the gold, so he might not feel the need for it. And... Oh, God! <laughs> okay, that was funny, man. Like, you guys realize that I sit wasn't paying attention to that? He just kind of sat his galley in there. And it's like, hmm, what can I do? Boop! And instantly boinks down the town center foundation. So rip to the wood and rip to the stone. <laughs> and Blue notices now, I think. I think Blue's gonna... Oh, he goes for a safe mining camp. Oh, that's so funny. He doesn't even go for a TC. He's like, well, this will work. Oh, God, now the Vils are gonna get hit, too. Oh. So I've seen players try a lot of stuff. I've seen players try trebs, which Blue is doing. I've seen players try monks. Realistically, you need to find a gap and get docks up. Th that is your priority. That's the only way you win. You need to find a gap and just scramble docks up and then go probably fire ship or something. But that's possible at mid elo. Like 13, 1400, they can commit a little bit more. But, oh god, as this is getting cleared up, and I completely forgot to show you this over the last 10 minutes, because I suck. Since I sit and I suck. 
But, um, okay, that... No sexual references, please. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. I meant PG stream. But yeah, he clears up this island. And he's just gonna add docks now. And still didn't put the relics into the monastery. That's a big mistake there, I said. Okay. So he's now sitting on two islands, yes. And now he can produce navy from over here now. So in the game that was 2 hours and 42 minutes, his opponent didn't speak very good English. But at around 2 hours and 30 minutes, the person just said, how long? Question mark. And I sit responded with, there's no limit. So I don't know if that guy was asking, like, how long will you just sit here? Or if he was asking if there's a time limit. But I sit basically told him he has all day. And then 10 minutes later, the guy resigned with no GG. So that's the story there. New TC. And, and he's going to take this stone, probably take this gold, and take this wood. And finally, the relics are now in the monastery. Can you imagine if he lost the game because he'd run out of gold? That'd be something else. Attacking is scary, guys. The first time I saw this player, though, it brought me back to my my chewing up units against the AI days where I would make a scenario with castles on hills and one choke point and I give the AI like a thousand units and I would just sit there with my cannons, my cataphracts, and my heroes and I would just feel like a god as I destroyed everything. Do you guys know what I mean? I Sid has found a way to feel like that in ranked Age of Empires games. Whoa, Moonwalking Gold Villager. Do you see that? Woo. This is honestly insane that you can do this consistently at a pretty solid elo. Like, this is average. I think a thousand elo is around average, so. And I, I do think the player is, is the, okay, Huskarls are here. So this could be a problem for the TC. I do kind of feel as though if I sit cared, he probably could play normally as well. Like, he probably could achieve maybe even higher than 940 ELO. But gaming is supposed to be fun, right? It, it's not supposed to be a chore. You're supposed to have a good time. And he found a strat that he likes. And every time migration is in the map pool... Uh-oh, villagers. There we go. Every time migration is in the map pool, this is what I sit is doing. Is on the prowl. That blue doesn't have horse color. Yeah, he doesn't have horse color, but he's got 5k wood. So I sit can't kill blue playing like this. But blue cannot kill I sit. And because I sit has the relics, I sit will be favored to win this game, even though it will take forever. It takes a great deal of patience to want to play like this. And it takes a great deal of frustration or grit from blue. I feel like there's a chance to maybe come back here. I could see why Blue would think, I will have more resources, he can't kill me. Because if you look... Um, you can see the amount of resources Blue has brought in is much greater. And will continue to be much greater for quite some time. Yeah. Hmm. I sit, is the gatekeeper an angel or demon who forces people to learn aggression? Honestly, it's not a bad... That's not a bad thing. Blue's going to say, how did I lose this game? But it's because Blue wasn't aggressive early, right? Early feudal, and I said it's dead. Super, super dead. That's how you should play migration in general, is you should control the water. That way they can't transport. And then you control the water and also boom up on land. Sit with quite a few vills. About as many as Blue, though. And every time Blue makes the Siege Workshop, it goes down. <laughs> He's healing up his forces right now. <laughs> Dude, these Cannon Galleons are freaking broken, though. How many of you didn't know that Spanish Cannon Galleons fired this fast until you saw the I Sit video? Because I never really had a player that did this before where I uploaded it. I mean, there have been competitive situations at times, maybe community games. But of all the bonuses out of the 39 sieves, I feel like Spanish Cannon Galleons firing this fast is one that's forgotten. And it's never talked about by pro players because the pro players never do it, so. Probably a good time to get conscription if you're I sit. 
Wyatt says this is seriously looks exactly how the European powers created their colonies. Constantly setting up new settlements by the coast and then from time to time get destroyed and chased out only for the colonizers to return and set up a new colony. Yeah, he's persistent. Very persistent. I knew because I used to play like this against the AI. Oh yeah, the AI would... <laughs> the AI would look as hopeless as Blue does right now. <laughs> Is that mean? The AI would do the same stuff. The AI would make... I don't know about the Trebs, but the AI would definitely have infantry out. I think Blue is trying to use the monks to get conversions here. Let's see. Now, he needs to get block printing. He might not know about that. Yeah, here he goes. He's like, how can I do this? Trebs and monk. Let's go, baby. Can he get one? He loses one Treb. <laughs> he loses the monk. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. And now he goes bombard cannon, which is great and all, but hopeless. Honestly, I think this is where Blue resigns. He's now losing the castle. I sit transported in bombard cannons. So now Blue's like, no, not my castle. Rip. Now watch this. Blue says, all right, well, I have Huskarls. So I can just send in my Huskarls after those cannons. Okay. We'll see. The monk is slowing them down. Uh, that's a problem. And then I sit goes, ha ha. See ya. I'm into my transport ship, and he's out of here. Say what you want. I know some people are going to sympathize with Blue and whatnot, and maybe you should. Say what you want, but this strategy is freaking brilliant, dude. He lost all of his initial villagers. The initial villagers that made it to this mainland died, okay? And he still ended up getting the relics somehow. He still ended up surrounding Blue. And if this game were to continue, he would just do the same thing. He would pop in with Bombard Cannons, hit some stuff, roll out, and eventually people just can't... They either run out of resources or they realize that this is never going to be winnable for them. He erodes your morale. That is the perfect way to say it. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Doof says, I'm, I enjoy watching, but I'm self-aware enough to know that I would be pissed if I were blue. Is that not the case with a lot of the legends, though? Let's think about all the really popular Age of Empires 2 legends that I've had. Blue Coffee. If Blue Coffee lied to your face and then backstabbed you, you'd be raging. Fatslob. If Fatslob was clearly a worse player than you, but full stonewalled with Fortified Wall, and you kept trying to break through only to lose everything, you'd be raging. I sit. <laughs> if you got fully surrounded by cannon galleons, you'd be so frustrated. I could go down the list... And I feel like this brilliance, this off-meta stuff does, you know, would get to your average player. At least if you understand uh, the game to a certain degree. And players of this ELO do. I looked at John Mel's profile. He plays a lot with goths. He makes a lot of infantry. He had more wood, he had more food, and he had more stone. Couldn't get the victory. And if the game continued, he wouldn't be able to get the victory. I sit with 233 kills, 143 units lost. There was no GG by Blue. At least I don't think so. It should have shown it. And this is kind of how the game developed. Now, it looks like I sit was dominating the whole time because of the timeline. Um, but I don't... Wow, lots of technologies. But I'm not really sure that that was necessarily the case. I think the light red is higher because he had so many fishing ships. Um... I don't know if there's a way to really show that here. Yeah, there's no fishing ship graph on this, but he was adding fishing ships, and I don't think they were all that efficient past a certain point because um, he had 30 or 40 of them. So there were opportunities for Blue to drop down some docks and make some Navy, but Navy is hard for people to understand, and a lot of people, especially goth pickers, just like to go infantry. And so I sit continues to do this. I sit played this game two days ago. I hadn't seen it before watching it. I had seen the other games. It's like he shows up every time Migration is in the map pool and has his fun and he's a very unique player. I love this personally. I I think that if every single game was played the same, it would make Age of Empires boring. I absolutely love at how at average ELO basically. Um that there's so many players who can do out of the box things. I think that's what makes Age of Empires great. How many saves we have? 
but how much depth the game has, not even with the sieves, but with the strats and how you can you can branch out. So six six stuff. He ends the game with fifteen thousand five hundred army value. That means the army that he has right now costs fifteen thousand five hundred resources. And forty seven percent of that was gold. That is a crazy statistic right there. 